Hello. Hello. What's up? What's your take? So let's talk about number six. Okay, what about it? So is transgender a psychological disorder or is it genetic where they you're born that way genetically or is it a mental disorder? A mental Being thing or is it a physical thing? Trans is not a mental disorder, no. It's not. No. So it's not a, a, it's not a mental disorder. So no. it's genetic. So we can trace that through genes. I wouldn't call it genetic either. Genetic. So it's not. I probably so wouldn't say it's genetic it? either. So then what is it then? What causes people to be trans? What causes people to be trans? It's not genes. It's not in your genes. It's a gender. It's, it's a not gender. Identi- it's just a gender identity. <laughs> but there, there's cause and effect. So science says there's cause. There's a cause. And there's effect. You have diabetes because you either genetically have you're prone to having diabetes or you eat too much sugar, which damages your body, which causes you to have diabetes. There's cause and effect with Do everything you know in the what world. Gender identity is? Sure, it's a spectrum. So we start from, you know, the machoist man on the on one side to the most feminine person on the other side. And gender's fluid in between those two. Right? That doesn't tell me what a gender identity is. Like what gender identity is that's just telling me like how you move between gender I'm saying do you know what it is? Yes, I know what it is. But okay. how do you what makes you pick one thing or the other? There has to be a cause and effect to it. There has to be this is why I feel this way. You don't Something's make making you feel you don't this make way. a conscious decision of your gender identity. You don't make a conscious decision about it. So then it's genetic. It's not in your mind. It's genetic. You were, your, your body was born trans from a baby. You're born with a predisposition, you were, predisposition to be trans, probably. So then that, that's, that would be it, make it mental. How would that make it mental? So if you had a predestination to be a serial killer, let's just say a serial killer or, or whatever... Certain things that would happen to you in your environment would trigger that, which which would certain people under certain stresses act different, or certain things that happen to them in life act different, which would turn them. Some people wouldn't turn to us to, out to be whatever, but other people handle it different and end up being that. You know what I'm saying? So how do you? There has to be a cause and an effect for everything. Something, nothing happens just because it happened. It happens because someone either chose to do it mentally, or it, it was genetic and it couldn't be stopped. You couldn't. You either choose to do it through your mind, it choosing you're choosing to do that. You're choosing to be that way, or there's some other cause that's making you that way. This See, why this at? doesn't make it a mental disorder. Okay, so if it's mental and you're choosing, you're, in your brain, you're choosing to be whatever gender you pick, you're choosing that, then let's say um, you walk into your friend's room and he's having a conversation with someone and there's no one in the room and you say, hey, Tony, you're having a conversation with somebody and there's no one in here. What's going on? What do you see my friend Terry right here? I've been having a conversation with my friend Terry. And you'd be like, hmm, that's not matching with what reality says. Terry doesn't exist. You would tell your friend that, hey, man, you should probably go get checked or looked at or whatever. Fun fact, because there's no one here. And this guy is in his reality. These, There's a friend there. He's talking to in the slightest. They're not. No. So how, how are they not? Then, then you tell me just because you say they're not equatable. How are they not equatable? Because trans people don't have a mental disorder. They're not sitting here trying to be trying to claim yeah, that they're breaking reality. What are you talking about? They are breaking reality. They're not. They are breaking reality for themselves because when, 
when 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 someone outside of their reality sees them, they go clearly. Identity, you're not a girl. Identity is not something that's like in reality. Identity is a subjective thing. So how are they breaking reality by identifying okay. as something? So so if it's subjective, then why do you make me or anyone else in the whole world have to affirm? something that's in your objective reality why you do i have to believe to in your objective be reality? if you want to be a dickhead that's on you i don't really give a sure shit one way sure so if i want to be an elf if i want to be an elf can i be an elf elves are outside of the human experience so no so i can't be an elf you can't be things outside of but the i want to be an elf but i want to be an elf i've already answered your question well, that, that, that doesn't answer the question. That's, yes, it does. That, that, yes, it does. No, it does. You it, can't that, be that things outside of the, the human experience. That's a direct answer to your question. Your question was, <laughs> what if I want to be an elf? My answer is no, because you can't okay. be things outside of the human experience. What if I want to be an astronaut? Astronauts are inside of the human experience, so you can be an astronaut. Okay, an astronaut. so I could say that I'm an astronaut. NASA, let me, on a, let me, let me pilot the space shuttle. No, in order to be a profession, like, well, you don't meet the, re so you, you don't you to, meet the requirements. Be, in order to be a profession, so you can be an astronaut, but you have to meet the, you have to become part of the. Profession I have to meet the requirements, but I want to be an astronaut. My my objective, reality yeah, is that I'm an astronaut. You're the most bad faith person I've talked to all day. You know that. My most what? You're the most bad faith person I think I've talked to all day. No, I'm not. Yeah, you are. I, I'm actually. I don't. I don't care what anybody does. No, you're specifically asking bad faith questions. And when I answer them, you don't like the answer because you're looking for some sort of gotcha moment. Like, that's what you're doing no, right I'm now. Not. Yes. Yes, you oh, are. Oh, no, 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 no. You, you quite literally are. No, I'm saying that you're asking people to, to when you say not be dickheads, <laughs> Because they don't see the world that you do, the way that you see the world. It's not about the way I see you're the world. asking them to got, to be okay with do. that. It's got nothing to do with the way right? that I see the world. Huh? Okay. So the way you see yourself in the world. Let's put it that way. The way that you see yourself in the world, or trans people see themselves in the world. <clears throat> you want everyone around them to see them that to to see them that way. And if I people don't then there's something wrong with them and not with the trans person you see what i'm saying that. you're asking people to take a leap i don't want to say a leap of faith but go hmm because our brain is set up that when we see a dog we go oh that's a dog that's a bird that's a car that's a refrigerator we see what we know to perceive to be a man or a woman, and we go, that's a man or a woman. When someone tells us that man is a woman or the woman is a man, then our reality is... I'm not saying women are men. Huh? When a trans not, person I'm says... I'm not what, saying what, men are women. I'm not saying women are men. I'm so what do you say? Are, I'm saying men are men and women are women. That's directly <laughs> what I'm saying. Okay, so trans women aren't women? No, trans women are women. Like I said, women are women. <laughs> no, that's not what... <sighs> yes, if you've ever talked to a trans person before and had a conversation with them for more than five minutes, yes. you'd understand yes. that we're not making the claim that trans uh, women used to be men. No one's making that claim. Their gender identity has always been that of, of woman or girl. <laughs> When people when people come up here and go, so you're saying men can be women? They are being inherently disingenuous because that's not what, what we are mean? claiming. Because we're born a man. Explained. I just no, no one's born a man. You're, you're, not a single person has born. ever been born a man. Sure, they have. No, they haven't. They've been born male. Well, you're born male and you're born well, female. Male and female are different from men and women. They're they're, no. they're inherently different. Yes, they are. No, they're not. Biolo biology classifies them differently. Sociology classifies them different. Psychology classifies them differently. How do they? How does? How does a biology uh, biological class? So bi bio class biologically, yeah, sure, yeah, sure. Biologically classifies them this way. Sex is your specific biological characteristics, either phenotypic or genotypic. 
right? Whereas, yep. whereas gender is a subjective perception, in, gender in and of yourself is a subjective perception of your sex and the orientation of said sex. Correct, that, but that wouldn't be taught in a biology class. That would be taught in a sociology class, nope, that would but be not taught in a biology. neuroscience class because I just gave you a definition out of a neuroscience textbook and neuroscience is biology. Eat a dick. <laughs> Don't try to tell no. me. Don't try to tell me. Eat a dick. Neuroscience is a, is a, is a bio, biological study that's directly out of a neuroscience textbook. So try again. Yeah. No, psychologically, it would say that you suffer from, nope. or a trans person suffer from something out of the DS, what, what's called DSM. It's called gender dysphoria. Nope. Not, not transgender. All trans gen, not all trans people have gender dysphoria. So try again. No, they are. Nope. I'm not sorry, all trans but they are. Gender dysphoria. They have gender dysphoria. Yes, nope. they do. You can say, you can say prove, oh, it's prove to you, you have to prove to me, you're making the claim that all trans people have gender I'm making, dysphoria. No, I'm making the claim. Yes, so I'm you have making to prove the claim. The claim. Gender, all trans people suffer from gender dysphoria. Based on what? And you tell me that they don't, and I'm saying, well, prove that they don't. You, no, you made the claim. You're coming from the positive. You prove that because they do. Because what psychologically, is gender psychological science. What is gender dysphoria? Huh? People think that they're a gender that they're not. Nope. You don't even know the definition of gender dysphoria. I can pull it up right now on Google. Do it. Do it. Pull it up. Do it. Pull it up. I triple dog dare you. Oh, I can't wait for this, guys. I really can't wait. Okay, it says gender dysphoria occurs when you're a. It, actually, the word is. Click between your birth, sex that you were assigned at birth, identity. Great, so not what you said. Beautiful. That's what I thought. Yeah. So there's a conflict. You were born a man. Nope. No, and then all of a sudden a there's a conflict. It, already explained you this. You were born a male. It doesn't you talk were born about. A male. It doesn't talk about the gender you were born as. It talks about it the does. sex. If you want to even get deeper, you can re go into like uh, the American Psychological okay, Association, so and they talk the, about okay. stop. They go. They talk about how there's a marked incongruence between your sex assigned at birth, and by this they mean your your phenotypic sexual expression and your gender identity. There are trans people who have no issues with their phenotypic uh, sexual uh, expression. So, for instance, there's a lot of trans women who have no problem having penises. Doesn't bother them. It doesn't make them any less of a woman. And so they do not have gender dysphoria. There are also some cis people who have gender dysphoria. For instance, men with micro penises often suffer from gender dysphoria because they feel like their body, the way that their uh, phenotypic sexual uh, representation is, does not match with their gender. So having a really small penis makes them feel levels of gender envy. So go ahead. If you want to keep having the conversation, you need to learn what the fuck all this shit means. I'm reading it right here. Right off the definition, it says a conflict between the sex that you were born and the gender that you want to assign yourself. That's the definition of gender dysphoria. Great. So it's nowhere, right nowhere in there does it say that you believe you were born in the wrong body or you're a woman who thinks you're a man. Nowhere. It doesn't say that anywhere. It doesn't say that. That's not what it means. And again, if you want to read further right into it specifically by either reading about gender dysphoria in the dsm-5 you can read about it in the from the american psychological association any of these things you'll understand that you you aren't grasping what they mean when they say these things so again when they say a, the assigned sex at birth they're specifically talking about your phenotypical representation of your sex because everything in the world has cause and effect Something causes you 
to be That's trans. not the conversation it we're having right now. Fault. That's not the conversation yeah. we're and having. No, it's not. No, it's not. Here, I'll there read it directly. I'll read it directly off the American Psychological Association. Since since you want to have this there conversation about since you want to have this conversation about gender dysphoria, which is something psychological, <laughs> I'll read you directly off the American Psychological Association's website because maybe you can understand that. So the term transgender refers to a person whose sex assigned at birth, i.e., the sex assigned <laughs> at birth, usually based on external genitalia, which would be your phenotypical representation of that sex, does not align with their gender identity, i.e. one psychological sense of their gender. Some people who are transgender will experience gender dysphoria, which refers to psychological distress that results from an incongruence between one's sex assigned at birth. Remember when they talked about sex assigned at birth, they said usually based on external genitalia, so again, phenotypical representations of that sex, and one's gender identity. Though gender dysphoria often begins in childhood, some people may not experience it until after puberty or much later. <laughs> Now, if you want to keep reading stuff and ignore the context, that's on you. I don't so what ignore you're context. Is, so, so this is what you're saying is, is that a person with gender dysphoria has a problem with their sexual organ at, that doesn't match their identity. They have that's an, where in, the, that's they have an where, incongruence with their phenotypical sexual representation and their gender identity. Correct. It causes an incongruence. What's an so in your definition, what I'm gonna ask you, I don't, what's an incongruence? An incongruence would be some feeling of distress, um, some feeling <laughs> of unease, conflict. Okay, fine, so they, if you want to use that word, fine. Yeah, yeah. So, and there are some transgender people who don't. They just, they don't care about what they're what they're packing down there. They have no no problem with it. Correct. That's what you're saying. All right, what did you say? So you're saying that people with um, that don't have gender dysphoria that are trans could care less about what's what they're packing down there. Correct. They just, it doesn't they do bother them an, that they, they do have not a, have an incongruence. Yeah, they don't have a problem with it. So Correct. again, I'm going to ask you the question that I asked in the beginning. Then what's the root? What what what's What's the effect that causes transgender? Don't know, don't care. There has to be a, there has to be one. Don't know, don't care. I don't care what causes. <laughs> don't know, don't care. I don't care what causes people to be trans. I, I don't. So give it a has shit. to be a, because I so don't. Then see, it has to be a hold on. So because I don't see anything wrong with being trans, I don't give a shit about what causes it. I don't see anything wrong with being trans. Then what's the pur you purpose of figuring out? What is the purpose then of figuring out what causes it? What okay, would the purpose one, of that be? Okay, what if I wanted to help you? What if I wanted to help all trans people and saying that, what's the suicide rate for trans people right now? Wait, so the way we help trans people is not by no, figuring the, out what- No, I'm asking no, you a question. And what's I'm, answer, the suicide and I'm rate answering your bad faith people? question. What, what hap, the way to help trans people is not to like fix them, it's to provide them gender affirming care and gender affirming care specifically lowers suicidality by like upwards of 60%. But only in there, because you you can't legislate morality to how everybody else in, in the world in society is going to feel. We towards legislate you. morality. You all can't the time. legislate, but you can't. You can't legislate that. You can't pass a law that says you gotta like trans people. You can't do no, that. No, but you can pass a law that says you can't limit their fucking medical. Uh, what they get sure, medically? What you are you talking? You can do about? all that. You can do all that, but that's still not gonna. Stop someone from saying a, a, a snarled remark, a dickhead at a restaurant. Uh, it's not going to stop for the that. Hat. That's not what I'm trying to do. I don't give a fuck if some snide <laughs> asshole says some transphobic shit. I'm just going to call them out on being transphobic. What I care about is making sure that trans people are able to receive the care they need without a bunch of dickheads telling them that they can't. That's what I care about. Okay. So that being said, how do we... How do we fix the problem where it I come from a libertarian background where I'm a libertarian. Everybody can do whatever you want as long as it doesn't hurt anyone else. Right? And so me as a youth, I didn't like going in the you know, in middle school, I didn't like going in the showers, you know, after gym class, whatever. That I just didn't like that. I 
you know, I had body issues, whatever. I didn't like it. So I can imagine when a young girl has to go in the shower with a guy that's packing a, 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 a willy, that kind of makes them uncomfortable. How do we, how do we, here's an easy, here's an easy fix for that. We don't make children get naked in front of each other. <laughs> but they do. I mean, when you're in sports, Wait, when you're in you high school, asked me for a sports? fix. I gave you the fix. We don't let them get that. naked in front I, of each other. I, I know that, but <laughs> yeah, I'm that's providing not, an ought claim, not an is claim. I know, I know, but how do I understand? That's just like saying, but that's a, a, a claim that we can't do. We can't go. Why not? Why can't we just hey. put stalls in locker rooms so that in changing areas in locker rooms and we say, hey, guys, because you're under the age of 18, you cannot get changed in front of each other. You sh we shouldn't be letting sure. minors look at other minors ding dongs. <laughs> we can absolutely sure. do that. It would take no, it would be fucking effortless. Sure, sure. That, 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 that solves one problem. I, 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 I've, I've been to Europe and I like how they just have bathrooms. It doesn't, you just have a stall, you lock it, you go in there, do your business, you leave. You don't need a men's and a women's bathroom. There's, that's a waste of money to me. <laughs> you just add a door, lock it, go in there, do your business and leave. I understand that. But there are certain things that, 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 like, you know, might, like sports. Let's, let's go to the sports thing. Having men and women, once a man goes, or, or, or someone that's assigned that has testosterone in their body, once they go through puberty, their, their bone mass, muscle mass, muscle fiber, all that stuff gets increased. You can you can take hormone suppression, but that doesn't it helps a little bit. It helps, but a lot not too much. No, it helps if you're if yes, so. If there's how, two ways. How can it, there's how can there's. Die? Let me ask. How can that gentleman who who or, 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 or lady now that was a, like ranked hundred and something in men's swimming in the NCAA's a year later joins the women's Leah, swimming side? Leah Thomas. And Leah Thomas came in first and second place in multiple. Leah Thomas was not ranked low in in male swimming. It's just factually not accurate. She was. and leah thomas did not dominate in feet no do you want you want to know the actual truth behind leah thomas's like swimming records yeah, i'll ahead. pull them up for okay. you give me one second you're gonna be wrong but fine give me a second so when we look at specifically leah thomas before before uh transitioning when leah thomas uh swam the men's 500 yard freestyle in the ivy league swimming and diving championships uh, Lee Thomas came in second in the men's 500. Second place. Second place. That's not ranking 100, blah, 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 blah. We'll look at the same the same thing when Leah Thomas uh, played, did the men's 1,000-yard freestyle. Second place. Second place. Wow, Leah Thomas seemed to have been pretty good as a man. Doesn't seem to have been any reason that Leah Thomas had to become a female swimmer in order to, like, win. Here we have the, the 1,650-yard freestyle. Second place place why because leah thomas is just a good swimmer period it wasn't about leah thomas had to like join female swimming in order to like get good that's not what happened leah thomas is just a good swimmer now let's look at how leah thomas did as a when leah thomas went into like uh the female division because here's here's my favorite fucking piece of information here. People tend to think, well, Leah Thomas dominated as a female swimmer. She she just was so good. She she beat everybody. She did everything great. No, she didn't. She won one fucking one category. Where is it? And I'll pull it up right now. Where is it? So the only one that Leah Thomas won was the 500 yard freestyle and they won by 1.75 seconds. That's it. Came in second or third on the rest of them. Also, Jane, I, I do see you in the box. I just want to do a 1v1 for a little bit and then I'll let you up if you're still here in a little bit. So anything on that champ?
What did she run in the 500 freestyle as a man? In the 500 freestyle as a man? What does that matter? As a man. Well, yeah, what's what did she rank? What's that matter? What, and then what did she rank as a, when, she, when she trans? What did she rank? What do you mean by what did she rank? That's not how swimming is determined. Right. What, what are you yeah, asking? They're ranked. They're ranked. Wait, what are, you, what are you asking? So what did she rank? What was she ranked when she was a, when 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 she identified as a man and ran and swam as a man? What uh -huh. did she rank? Then what did she, what was she, what did she rank as a woman? She in swam, the five hundred freestyle. She swam slower as a woman. She she came. She had a slower time when what? she swam the five hundred as a woman than when she did when oh she was. Oh my identifying. god! But what would she rank in the women's division? Right. She might have had a slower time. I don't give a shit about her ranking. I give a shit about how she did at the event. Ranking takes into account multiple weight, how you did in multiple events, but how did she do in the no. event where every, yes, it does. Okay, so if I'm 500 and when I'm swimming as a man, and then I switch to the women's division and I become first place in the women's division, there's she a discrepancy there. She came in there, second a place in the male division in three categories. No, she, came she in, did not. Yes, but not she in the 500 did. freestyle, but not in the 500 freestyle. What the fuck she did in, in a harder freestyle? No, it's harder to freestyle. swim. Freestyle, it's freestyle, harder freestyle, to swim the 1,000 than it is to swim the 500. No, it's not. So it's so it's harder to 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 be a, 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 a triathlon or a, um Run a marathon it's than it harder is to, to swim for better? longer distances no, than it is not. to swim it's for shorter things. distances. Are you stupid? Who's faster, a marathon runner or Hussein Bolt? Are you stupid? Hussein Carter, Hussein Bolt or a marathon runner? It's infinitely harder it's to run endurance than it is to run long distance. All right, I'm sorry, no, than it is to not. sprint. Yes, no, it, is. it is. not. You're just fucking no, idiot. It's... You're an idiot. No, it's not. You're actually no, dumb if so you don't saying, believe this. It's easier you're, to be Hussein Ball than it actually, is to be a to be a, a, a marathon. Runner. It is infinitesimally harder to run uh, endurance no, than it's it is to things. sprint. Yes, it it's is. It's not harder. It's two different yes, things. It is. No, it's two different things. No, one it's is a, a you know, it's two different things. It's totally two different things. It's like I'm a high jumper and I'm a sprinter. It's harder to do a high jump than you know they're two different things. It is it is harder to come in first place in the one thousand freestyle than it is in the five hundred freestyle. No, it is hard. It's not. yes it is. <laughs> no, yes, it is. it's two different things. No, it's it's harder. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. It makes so like, there is a an, lot of there, sense. There, 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 is, there is an ability. There, there, there is a difference between men and women when it comes to athletics. I don't care what you say. Great. And Leah is. Thomas only came in first in two in two categories, and then her record was beaten the year the next year by a cis woman. She was beaten in Correct. other. She was beaten in plenty of other categories by cis women. She, did, she was beaten because in the two hundred by a cis women. woman. She was beaten in the one thousand by a cis woman. She was beaten in the sixteen fifty by a cis woman. Because she wasn't that good of a swimmer. That's Except she, she came in second place in the men's division in the 1650 and in the 1000. So if she came in second place and then she came in a lower place when she when she was when she identified as a woman, what does that tell you? So you're telling me she came in second place as a man? Yes, I just read you. No. I literally just you want me to read it again? You want me to read it again? I'll read yes. it again. I'll read it again because you're you're just fucking stupid, okay? Uh, net 2019 Men's Ivy League Swimming and Diving Championships, okay? Event, Men 500-Yard Freestyle. The finals, first place, no Brennan E. Novak. Second place, Will R. Thomas, which was Leah Thomas's dead name. Leah Thomas came in second place for the Men's 500-Yard. Let's check the next one, shall we? Let's check the Men's, uh, what is this one? 1,000-Yard. Oh my God, what do we see again? Second place, holy shit, that's crazy. You know what, let me just double check, and maybe, maybe I'm high, but let's double check and look at the men's 1650. Oh my God, second place again. Isn't that fucking crazy? Yeah, so, so, 
What did you call this championship that he was in? The collegiate what? This is the 2019 Men's Ivy League Swimming and Diving Championships. Oh, Ivy League Swimming and Diving Championships. That's not the NCAA Championships. That's the Ivy League Championships. That's totally different. So when she when he when when he goes to the NCAA Championships, then look at his record. He gets mocked. He doesn't even finish. The, we're, when we when we switch to the NCAA, we're talking against the best women in all of college, not just the Ivy League. It's two different things. It's like the Big Ten, SEC, the Ivy League, its own thing. And those don't have the best swimmers aren't in the Ivy League. That's your defense here? Oh, he only did, he only did that good against Ivy League swimmers. When we add him up, when we add him up, when we add him up to all the other swimmers, then he did, he did. Oh, yeah, there's a big difference between running again. That's that's your now uh -huh. see how he did in the NCAA tournaments uh -huh. at those years. Well, didn't he even didn't finish. compete in the NCAA tournaments those years. He only <laughs> competed in the Ivy League championships those years. Yeah, because he has to qualify. And he was on the men's the swim team at Penn. He only competed in the yeah. Ivy League. Unless you qualify, unless you're good enough to qualify for the NCAAs. You think that the men's swim team at Penn didn't qualify for the NCAA? Not everybody qualifies to go to the NCAA tournament. Teams might qualify, but it's in, it goes by the individual, not the person. Just like in NCAA wrestling, not every person on the wrestling team goes to the NCAA tournament. You have to qualify. Okay. That's, your, that's, that's your why there. you can have one team you can have the best wrestler in the planet and he gets to go and the rest of the team is at home on that day. That's the take you you're, that's the, that's the take you're, you're, you're making right now? What? That's the, that's the stance you're going with? Yeah, but you're, 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 you're equating the women's NCAA championships to the pin to the to the Ivy League championships, they're two different things. They're two different things. They're not the same. Now go to the go look at so what then, he did. So then, how about and, how and about wait wait how about instead look at how fast she swam. Look at how fast Good. she swam okay. in these events. Look at events. how fast she swam. Look at how fast she, she swam as a man. When she, listen to me. Mm -hmm. Look at how fast she swam mm -hmm. there, and then compare that to the first and second placers that year in the NCAA championships in those divisions. No, I'm saying look she at how fast smoked. she swam as a man and then look at how fast she swam as a woman. And will the times be, sl be lower as a woman? They were because she right. was on ho hormone suppression. So what's the issue then if she's swimming slower? That she's already got a biological advantage what's going through puberty. Once you go through a... Oh, my God. No, I'm asking you what's slower the issue compared to what? Slower? Slower what compared she to what? She before. ran slower and still won the women's division. She didn't win. She, the 500 freestyle, she won. Yes, yeah, she was the champion in the 500 in 2022. The and then her record was broken the next year by a cis woman. Yeah, she, she won. So look and at her cis woman time. Broke her record. Look at her times. And then a cis woman broke her record. Correct. Because she's on hormone suppressors. By that time, she's been on hormone suppressors for almost three years. Oh, so, so hormone time suppressors drop. do change your athletic ability. For a little bit. For a little bit, but she's still at the top of her game. And she's not no, that good of a swimmer. Hormone, hormone, wait, she's still at the top okay. of her game, but so her game has gotten Okay, so, so, so when she's all jacked up, when, 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 she's, when she's not on hormone suppressors, and she's ranking against men, she, and she goes to the NCAAs, not, 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 the Ivy League championships, the actual NCAAs wrestling against the best swimmers in the country in collegiates, she's not placing. Except she then is. she switches, then she switches to being female and she places. I don't care if she placed in one event or five events, she's still placed. You're floundering here a little bit. Why can't she compete on the female team if her if her overall swimming is is slower than it was when she was a man. Explain that. Because look, look at her times. That's, I, when I, she's I, I, already, I already have. You're not answering the question that I'm asking. 
because she already has an advantage from advantage? going through puberty. If she's lost, well, wait. Okay, so, if she okay. lost, no, 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 no. if she lost multiple races, what advantage does when, she have? When you go through, when 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 you go through puberty as a, as assigned biological male or or, or or whatever, you have testosterone in your body. Your body goes through changes. You're not answering you get question. your muscle mass, your your bone density increase. You get things because we come from cavemen and we're supposed to go out and hunt and kill woolly mammoths and shit with our bare hands. So we're jacked. Cool, we get more jacked than a question. female does. So when you get That's on hormone crazy. suppressors, you'll get some. You'll lose some of that, but you won't lose it all. You'll still have a physical advantage. That's crazy. And she when has a physical advantage. That, why was she beaten? You can see that because as the longer that she went on hormone suppressors, her times got worse. Crazy, you're not the first year the she was on hormone suppressors, I'm telling you, she had a physical advantage. And then why did she lose? Because she was, by that time, she was, huh? You've got to be on hormone suppressors for a long time. By, that, by, by the time she lost, that was one, two, almost four years she was off of hormone suppressors. Or she's been on hormone suppressors. So hormone suppressors make you worse. So what's the issue? Correct. Correct. So what's the issue with her playing they make against you worse. females? Testosterone, estrogen lowers so then muscle mass. What's the issue with her competing against females? Because she wasn't on them long enough, and she had an advantage. Then why did she the lose? First time she if she had an advantage, no. Hold on. She in 2022, lose. she didn't come in first place in the 200. She didn't come in first first place in the 1000. She didn't come in first place in the 1650. She was beaten by trans women or by cis women in all three of those categories. Because if it she was, was. Go ahead. Because even as a male, she was a she swimmer. I. Compared to the rest of the people in the That's NCAA. That's not answering my fucking question, you dipshit. Answer yes, the actual is. question I'm proposing to you. If she has a biological advantage against cis women, why because did she lose? Isn't that good? Because her swimming technique isn't that good. Then why did she come she in second to... place in the Ivy League championships? The, the first time she races... She's in the Ivy League champions. Yep. She loses. When she wins the NCAA championship, she's not that far that far removed from not taking the 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 hormone replacement. It takes a while for that to, to, are, to for that to break still down your not muscle. Answering the question. What's the question? If she has a biological advantage. Why did she lose? You keep saying two different things. You say she won. No. You say you're saying she won because she was a bad swimmer, so she moved to a category where she'd have a biological advantage, so she would win over these people. Then you're saying, Correct. but she wasn't a good enough swimmer, so she lost to these people. So which is it? Correct. Does she have Correct. a biological so, advantage or not? She did. She did have a biological advantage. And why didn't she win? In strength, muscle mass. Then and why didn't she, she goes on? Hormone replacement, by the time the second year, and she doesn't place, she doesn't win, the second time she's there as a female, it's because now the hormone replacements have degraded all of that. So the first year, yes, she had an advantage. The, by the time For, the second and third year no, comes no, around, no, she no, doesn't no, have no, an dummy. advantage anymore. The last year she competed was 2022. This was the year she won the 100 and won the 500. She also lost that same year, the 200, the 1000, the 1650, and the 400 um, FR relay and the 800 FR relay. How Why far? did she lose okay. all of those things if she had an advantage? Because she wasn't as good as then she was. Then why did she win the 100 and the 500? Because she's better at those events. Ah, They're okay, all okay. Things uh, okay, okay. Uh huh. Uh, you are literally contradicting yourself. No, I'm not. She, so so if, she's if better I'm at the 100 and the 500, track, but not the 200. If I Explain run track, that. Explain if, if that. If I'm running track, if I'm running track, right, and I'm good at sprinting, but I suck at the long jump, and I do all these things. There's, they're, they're all different events. One, they're different kinds of swimming, so she's gonna have different times in all of those. So why like, didn't she win the two hundred? Michael Phelps, Michael why didn't Phelps she win the didn't, have, didn't dominate every type of swimming there why was. Why didn't she win the two hundred? He was 200? good at what he was good at. Why didn't she win the two hundred? 
because she's not a good 200 swimmer. So why'd she win the 500? She's just not a good 200 swimmer. So why'd she win the 500? It's that Nikki. Why did she win the 500? Because she's a better at 500. What's the difference in between swimmer. the 200 and the 500? Go ahead. There's a lot of difference in technique. Go ahead. Tell me them. It, it's pre because your distance. You're going 200 to 500. Oh, okay. So then why was she it's good at the 100 but not the 200? Oh, my God. Why is she good at the 100 and not the 200? Yep. Because she's a better sprinter in the water than she is over long distance. Oh, so then why did she, why did she win the 500 if she's a better sprinter? Oh. And not long distance. They're different races. They're different races with different techniques. They're different. And other people <laughs> might, You're there might be racers bro. that race the 500. No, there might yeah, be other are. swimmers that race the 100 that don't race the 200 because they're not good at the 200. They just do the 100 freestyle. They don't do the 200. Or they might do the two, not do the 200 and only do the 500 oh, yeah. because they're better at those races. They don't compete in all of them. You don't have to compete in all of them. Leah Thomas did compete they're in all of them. That's, that's beside the point, but you don't have to. No, all no of it's it. not fucking besides the point. It's the exact point. It's not fucking besides it anything. It is. Your claim is that Leah Thomas won the 100 because she's a better sprinter than long distance. Then when I said, why did she win the 500? You go, because we'll be, it's just different technique. Yeah, you pointed out the technique is, is that she's technique. better at swimming short distance than long distance. Make up your fucking mind. No, it's different techniques for all of those. Uh -huh. I'm sure if we had a swimmer, in your stream here that could tell us the difference the actual because there is differences well, it's not the just swimming uh someone paid to kick your ass so bye fucker